Hey, once my froze, it's me, Gina, and in this video, I am here with another washing style for you guys. Um, I just I've been cracking open some new products. So this washing style is going to be using some Moisture Love products. This video is not sponsored, but they sent me their products a while back. I want to say some around sometime last year, and I'm actually or earlier this year, and I'm actually just getting to them. So in this video, I'm going to start off by shampooing my hair with their shampoo. Now this shampoo claims to be a gentle deep cleansing product. It's supposed to soften dry rough cuticles and hydrate all textures and hair types. So one thing about this shampoo, which really stood out to me is that it is very runny, runny, very lightweight, but has a very big impact. This says it's not, it's a gentle cleanse, but I want to say it falls in the middle of a gentle cleanse and a clarifying shampoo. Um, I didn't have to go in with multiple uh, lathers just to for my hair to feel cleansed, which is a plus for me because you guys know I like the stripping feeling of shampoos so i feel like this is a happy medium for me that i will continue to use this shampoo because it's not so stripping where you know i'm clarifying my hair but it's stripping enough where i feel like my hair is very very clean versus some gentle shampoos where i feel like i have to do maybe a, a, another lather or something like that next product i'm going to use is their conditioner now this conditioner is you can leave it on for five minutes and it's definitely the thicker products of their line um it smells actually really really amazing it is supposed to help nourish soothe the scalp and reduce breakage and stimulate the hair growth um it is very very creamy i would prefer that it will be in a jar now one thing that i found with this product is I wouldn't try to do too much detangling when you're applying it to your hair because you're not going to get that much slip. I found that I, it was a lot easier to actually detangle my hair with this conditioner if I let it sit for like three minutes while the steam, while it kind of like gets into my hair from the steam of the shower. And then I was able to manipulate my hair just a little bit more and kind of finger detangle. But initially putting that conditioner on, I didn't really get that much slip from the so once I rinsed out that conditioner, I went ahead and went in with their leave-in conditioner and I applied this leave-in conditioner while I was still in the shower and my hair was soaking wet. Um, this leave-in, the product claims is to be a serum that is supposed to help extend your moisture for days and beyond. The serum literally melts into your tangles and infuses moisture deep into your hair shafts. Um, some of the ingredients in this leave-in is avocado, maca, macadamia oil and it's supposed to help reduce which is supposed to help reduce frizz and promote the hair growth that now again this leave-in is very very it's very on the runny side um, i don't want to say it's very very runny but i thought i was going to get a little bit more thickness from this leave-in and so it's super super lightweight i personally would prefer it to be a little bit thicker just because of the styler which i'm going to talk about next so I then went in with the styler to style my hair. I just did a, a three strand twist, wasn't doing anything fancy. So the product claims from this styler is supposed to help moisturize your curls and uh, give you definition. It's supposed to be all in one. Um, the ingredients in this product is aloe vera juice, shea butter, cocoa butter. Those are like the first three ingredients. Um, and it's the consistency. The consistency of this product is very, very whipped. I love that about it. However, I did think it was going to be thicker. It's very lightweight. It's like a very, very whip. Um, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's very whipped, very close to the twisted definition of Curl Dynasty, but lighter. Um, so because of that, I feel like I didn't get as much moisture for my type four hair, low porosity hair. I feel like if I'm going to use the styler, I need to use a thicker leave-in. And if I'm going to use the leave-in, I would prefer to use a thicker styler. But I got really, really good definition with this product. So I'm not mad about that. And then this product definitely gave me the best slip out of all the products. I was, which really made me feel better because you guys know, like I kind of use my Felicia Leatherwood brush to detangle my hair while I'm uh, styling my hair. So that was a plus that I got a little bit more slip. 
Um, but I will say after my hair dried, my hair did feel kind of like hard. Um, so I want to say I should have probably went in with that oil just to like soften it up. But my hair was a little on the hard side. I don't want to say it wasn't moisturized, but it was definitely more on like a crunch, like a gel. Very reminiscent of the Texture ID product that I use. Like my hair felt that way. So yeah, overall, my favorite product of this line will definitely be the shampoo and the styler. I feel like those are the two products that I foresee myself using a lot more. Um, I will definitely get rid of these products. Definitely a line worth getting rid of. I just do think that this product line is a little bit more on the lightweight side for me. And you guys know I like thicker creams, thicker butters and things like that. But overall, I enjoyed the products. I will definitely finish it up um like i said the shampoo and the styler were the favorite my what the were the best products of this line for me but yeah my definition is like literally on point and i think that's why i really like this styler and i just need to find something to pair it with um a little bit thicker than the leave-in that they have so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will link the video to my texture id so you guys know what i'm talking about when i say i'm comparing the styler to that so you guys can check that out and then i will also leave my most recent video that i just uploaded uh, of my favorite combos in this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to thumbs it up and i will see you guys in my next video bye